So thanks a lot, Roberto, for your um, presentation. Our next speaker is Yu Feng Shi. I hope I didn't completely screw it up. Um, yeah, talking about deep learning. The stage is yours. Thanks. Thank you, Philip. Okay, so I'm Jiu Feng Shi. I'm coming from Discovery, uh, which is a startup company located in Germany, Heidelberg. So I want to introduce something about deep learning with feedback and energy sector. Okay, before this, okay. So uh, who are we? Uh, before this, I want to uh, tell first a short story about our company. Like actually, I think our company is a just smart metering management company, but except for that smart meter management, we also offering so many extra value added service. But why we are doing that? Uh, like my boss actually tell me a story about why he started this business at me, uh, smart metering sector. Like um, normally when people want to sell in such metering system, where will he go first? Of course, I think most people will go to the utilities. So my boss first went to such many utilities in Germany. And after such blah, blah, inst instruction on such nice uh, advantages and uh, something like for about from all our production or such so, so called smart metering system, they said, the utility people said, yeah, your metering is nice, but why should we buy this? Why should we use this? Okay, so as, as already started business, we, we, um, of course, my boss wants to survive, okay, yeah. Then he came up with such ideas, like we need to sell us our production directly to private customer, like private households or some commercial uh, uh, management company or something like that way. So how to attract them? Then he wants to add more so-called add value added extra service, okay? So like, so now it's what we offering normally to our customer. He got, for sure, he needed to install our smart meter, and then he can monitor all such electrical signal, or as well as uh, as now we also offering such water metering, gas metering, and heat metering. So these people or these customers, they can all monitor their such data online. And normally in for electricity uh, signals, it's like we offer second interval, like people can say, uh, can see their changing uh, their live chats on our, our portal or on the app in second level. And also for meter, uh, water metering and gas metering, it's normally we offering now from 10 seconds to 15 minutes. Yeah, okay. So we also offer them such so-called dis load disaggregation or NIRM feature. Like here, people can see what's, which, uh, which part of energy are consumed by which appliances in their household. Okay, so um, since then, we have so many productions selling to such private household or pri private customer. So we also, we're also collecting these feedbacks from our customers. Like we got normally feedbacks from our app, like saying which detection or which recognition of the appliance is not correct or we missed something. Also, they can send us directly some so-called active feedback, like saying which period uh, they have already run something on that time period. So we can collect this information directly from our app also, we are, we are also collecting such feedbacks or complaints on our forum. So like saying which is not functional, <laughs> good or something, which is something bad. So at first, we are all dealing with these uh, feedbacks or uh, such informations manually. Namely, we need to all manually label such information and to distribute to different uh, uh, fields, uh, uh, yeah, to dif different people to dealing with this uh, specifically. So, and now we come, came with the idea of 
so-called semi-labeling or semi-supervised learning to help us to reduce that human, uh, that really, really time-consuming human parts to, uh, yeah, to also spare our time and spare customer time. Okay, so here, normally we need first to digitize these feed feedbacks for sure. And we also will run some, uh, some sm uh, normal, just normal scientific check to check if the feedback is real or false. And then we will got, yeah, as mentioned, we normally have two, for, uh, two false or two feedback group. Namely, it's false detection or misdetection. And then for such two detection, uh, for such two cases, we collect both snapshots with dedicated time period. And then we will group these uh, similar snapshots and either to retain our, net, uh, our model or specify a new model. Okay, so for most steps, I think are uh, common. Okay, uh, I will just introduce mo uh, what will be a bit different, as we said, uh, for different step stages. Here is mainly the group similar snapshots. Here we introduce the idea of so-called semi-supervised semi again as a classifier. Like this idea, I think, come from many different companies, but uh, I here only reference uh, OpenAI. And we use the, the discriminator of the GAN as a classifier. So that classifier will introduce, will help us to classify the feedbacks into different groups. That, I, this part is the most dominated part, which save us time and also customer time. Okay, and then based on the classification results from the GAN or the, from the classifier of the GAN, we will either retain our network or specify a new model for a specific a customer with the detections. So uh, here is the data set we used to, for the first test for, our, for this approach. This is mainly, we used some open source data sets and also our internally data sets. So this is also one snapshot from so-called aggregated signal from the data sets. Okay, here I show you the results from the improvements of again with again. Okay, uh, here mainly we do the classification on dishwasher. We can see for the original classifier, uh, we used uh, the conventional network for the original classifier here, also use the commercial, uh, we use also commercial network for the classifier from Ken, for sure. And then we can see that the anomaly one or the red one is dominated or uh, greatly influence our detection or recognition, device recognition here. Then with the improve, improved again, we can now greatly suppress the influence from anomaly one. And finally, we also found that the red one, anomaly one, is actually a mobile air conditioning. So, then coming to the future works, like right now, we have seen that during the training of GAN or during such test phase of GAN, we found that the generalization of GAN is really, really bad. So, and the training phase really takes some time or some, yeah, some tests to, to get a really nice results like this way. So, uh, we want to test more other improved again, also enhanced again algorithm to make it more stable and to be, and make it more generalized. Another thing like we, right now we just only test this one on one device or appliances. Appliance. So we will, for sure, in the future, we will test um, more other models and appliances. And maybe another one is like, uh, since VA, uh, variational uh, autoencoder can also generate such feature layer, maybe in the future we can also use VAE instead of GAN to try this approach. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>